welcome to Let's Talk Bible with me, Shen S. And I would like us to look at this um, this other tricky scripture, and it's Matthew 7. And back in the day, you know, when you used to quote a Bible scripture, people would quote John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him will not perish but have everlasting life. And people used to know that scripture like the back of their hand. But I'm telling you, this is a scripture that people know like the back of their hand. Matthew 7, judge not, and you shall not be judged. Judge not and you shall not be judged. That seems to be people's favourite scripture. And sometimes as a Christian, you want to say something and someone will come and say, oh, judge not. And then you're like, oh, yeah. And they say, oh, it's a scripture in the Bible, judge not. And you're like, okay, I don't know what to say because they said judge not. So what do we do with this tricky scripture? Really, this scripture is not all that tricky because the Bible says that don't you know that you will one day judge the world the righteous the saints the body of christ will indeed judge the world will be judges is the scripture the scripture says so are we not meant to judge number two is that our whole life is us making judgments judgments of where to send our kids to school judgments if we should take that job judgments if we should cross the road or is the car too close and we shouldn't cross the road we are judging so when god says judge not what does he mean the bottom line is he doesn't mean to judge for we have to judge righteous people are called to judge god tells us to judge we must even judge if we're in the faith that is the bottom line so what does he mean when he says judge not and you shall not be judged now i can't judge somebody and say you are not saved you are not a Christian just by looking at them. That is where God would say, judge not. How can you say they are not born again by looking at them? Oh, well, it's a black guy and he's got baggy pants on and he's got glasses and he's got a piercing here. I don't think he looks the part. I am now judging him to say that he is not saved. That's where God would say, judge not not because you really don't know if he's saved okay uh, um not saved rather okay another way he would say is judge not in this way the bible says if somebody rich with nice apparel comes into your church or into your meeting wherever he is um don't say to him come to the front you uh, you sit at the front and have the best seat but you say to the poor man you sit here in this lowly place because he is poor now you have judged incorrectly you have judged wrongly that's when you should judge not you have made an unrighteous judgment you said oh because you're rich i judge that you should have a good seat because you're poor i judge that you should have a lowly seat instead of just treating people equally you yourself have made a judgment that god has not required you to do therefore in that instance you should judge not and you will not be judged okay now you might look at somebody and think they're not a Christian based on what? Now, the Bible says you will know them by their fruits. So if, if uh, I got um, an, an apple tree and all I see it bearing is oranges or any other type of fruit, I'm going to say I'm going to make a judgment that this is not an apple tree. Because although it's told me it's an apple tree, the tag might say apple tree in front of the tree. Do you know what? It actually is bearing oranges and not apples therefore i'm judging and thinking well you are not <laughs> you are not an apple tree so basically use everything in context okay use it in the right context basically judge not you should not not uh, be judged okay so that's what that that means okay so um you take care stay blessed and as always say if god is for you who can be against you like subscribe share and comment